helicopters with specially constructed containers on the sides have played a major role in the rapid evacuation and care of wounded. Liaison planes are also used near the front whenever possible. Many a wounded man who could not have survived a jeep or ambulance ride over the rough roads of Korea owes his life to these evacuation planes. Thousands of casualties, most of them litter cases, have been flown from Korea to permanent hospitals in Japan. The majority of these were flown in from the big supply centers of Pusan and Taegu. It takes only an hour and a half by plane, in contrast with two days' travel by ship. Here, Japanese civilians are utilized in handling the patients, although no Japanese doctors are used. More than half of all the wounded in Korea have been evacuated to Japan. When newly evacuated patients from Korea have been placed aboard ambulances, they are taken to permanent hospitals nearby for further treatment. Here, casualties are checked to determine the type of treatment required. So far in the Korean War, combat wounds have been about 70% orthopedic, 16% surgical. It is felt that the striking similarity of most Korean wounds has been due to the lack of communist air power and the fact that most encounters with the enemy have been rifle and artillery duels. 